and we're pleased to welcome President Eisgruber. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to this luncheon geared toward reassessing Princeton's relationship with Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> now, we've already agreed to make some changes to the festivities for annual Woodrow Wilson Appreciation Day. I will no longer fillet a giant effigy of the man. <laughs> Instead, we will take we will buy a customized pinata of him and take turns beating the living shit out of it with baseball. <laughs> I believe you have some suggestions for a new name for Wilson College. Uh, thank you, President Eisgruber. As you're well aware, renaming Wilson College is an important uh, <laughs> step on this university's path towards confronting its history and a brighter, more inclusive future. Uh, in regards to renaming the college, we were potentially thinking uh, Sonia Sotomayor. That's the American dream right there, isn't it? Love her to death. Don't you think we should maybe consider a president of the university? <laughs> we also consider that. <laughs> yeah, 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 but back to my president's idea. <laughs> well, what about president of the United States, James Madison? Madison, great man, great constitutional scholar, one of many that have attended this university. <laughs> <laughs> Madison's attitudes towards people who weren't cisgender white men were problematic. Now. I can think of a more recent president of the university who's been outspoken in support for the blacks and the gays. <laughs> Let's not forget the ladies, am I right, Paula? <laughs> what about Bezos College? Yeah. Hmm. No, 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 no. We need someone with a strong jawline, with scholar's glasses and thinning brown hair. Can you think of anyone fitting that description? <laughs> what about Jimmy Stewart? No! <laughs> no, no, we need... We need someone who earned a law degree from a renowned university, say the University of Chicago, for instance. Aaron Burr. The guy from Hamilton? <laughs> ha! No. No, we need, we need a true American. Someone born in a mid-sized Midwestern city, like, I don't know, Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, well, we did float out Makosh College. Listen to me, Dave. I hate to stick your idea. I hate to burst your bubble. But we need someone born in a good year, like the year 1961. If only we could think of someone born in the year 1961 worthy of this great honor. Oh, wasn't Frist born in the 60s? <laughs> Sorry, I just have one question. We good? Can I ask a question? Can I have a fourth query? Would that be alright with you guys? Okay? What the fuck does a man can do to Chris Eisenberg College over this bitch? <laughs> this is highly irregular. You know what's highly irregular? My bowel movements. My hairline no longer exists. My kids don't know my name. I haven't seen my wife in three and a half years. I have given so much to this university. Somebody can pee and you just trying to bite my dick off, but I will stop. They're taking so much from me. But not this guy. Never this guy! What more do you want from me? It's almost like you people would rather keep the name Wilson College and put us up on stupid billboards up talking about his mixed legacy and rename it after me! <laughs> 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 <laughs>